Hello there. Uh, we are continuing our uh, training sessions, and uh, I will still be uh, working uh, through this book, uh, Lev Albert's book, and we will do uh, four puzzles uh, like yesterday. And just before I start, I want to uh, make uh, two remarks. So, uh, regarding the feedback I got uh, from my viewers, uh, there were two uh, uh, main concerns. First one was that the uh, quality of sound uh, isn't uh, excellent. And uh, I am well aware of that uh, because I'm recording this uh, using my iPhone and I'm using internal mic. So uh, this is why uh, the quality of sound is the way it is. But uh, the good news is that uh, I have ordered uh, the microphone for a smartphone. So when the microphone arrives, the sound will be better in the future. And the second concern is, uh, uh, well, uh, I got uh, from previous videos also um, the remark that uh, my videos uh, are too long and that uh, I talk may maybe too slow. So uh, regarding that, I don't know how to change this because uh, obviously this is the way my brain works. But uh, in, if you find my videos too long and if you think that I talk too slow, you can always um, make a faster reproduction on YouTube. So you can select, for example, 1.25 or 1.5 and then just uh, a little... Uh, speed me up and then the video will last uh, shorter and uh, I'll be obviously uh, talk, talking uh, quicker. Okay, uh, let's go now to the position number one. Okay, this is the position. Uh, you can pause the video now and uh, try to find the solution. Uh, the white is to move here and, and win. Okay, uh, this one is uh, rather easy. I hope you, you managed to find a uh, solution. So uh, the main motive is the pin, and this is absolute pin. So when the piece is pinned to the king, it's called absolute pin. If it is pinned for, uh, to a queen, for example, then this is a relative pin. Uh, the difference is that uh, in absolute pin, it is illegal for the piece to move. In relative pin, it's not illegal, but it, uh, in most cases it's, not, in cases, it's not the wisest thing to do. Okay, so uh, if, if you notice the pin, then you can uh, easily calculate, uh, you, you can just take the bishop and when he takes the rook, now rook is pinned and you can just attack, attack the rook. And uh, this is now basically uh, game over, so he will uh, lo lose the rook. But there is uh, still one more trick uh, black could uh, try if uh, white is not careful, and that is uh, just uh, to push uh, the pawn. And uh, now you need to be careful uh, by which way you will uh, capture. If you will just automatically capture the rook with uh, the bishop with the check, then uh, black can move uh, the king to e6. And uh, you can now see that uh, this is a draw, because there is no way uh, white can uh, uh, save this pawn. If he captures, uh, the black will just recapture. And uh, if not, the black will, will capture the pawn, and this is a draw. So you need to be careful even if this uh, kind of position, which are uh, completely winning, uh, there is always, uh, in chess, uh, m most times, there are always some uh, resources if you are not uh, careful enough. So if you play, uh, if black plays f6 here, you have to capture with your pawn, with the check. And uh, now black cannot do anything, this pawn uh, will promote, and uh, uh, this is then uh, game over. Okay, let's go to the position number two now. Okay, uh, this is the position. It's uh, black to move and uh, well, find the best uh, continuation for black. You can pause the video and uh, think about the position and try to suggest the move. So, <clears throat> I hope you, you managed to uh, analyze this position and uh, maybe the move you saw in this position was uh, knight to c4, forking uh, queen and the bishop. You have uh, both pieces are unprotected. So usually, when you when you look for a tactics, uh, well, there is no recipe. People usually say look for threats, captures threats, uh, undefended pieces, and so on. So it usually doesn't work that way uh, in in the real game. You don't uh, use some kind of algorithm, but you need to be aware of some positional features. And uh, unprotected pieces are something you need to be aware of. If they exist on the board, you have to know that they exist. So in this particular position, you see there are uh, two undefended pieces, bishop and uh, queen. They're both undefended, and uh, you can attack them both by uh, knight to c4. 
Uh, but the thing is that uh, this uh, looks like uh, it's clearly winning the piece because the queen must move and uh, the queen cannot move in the way that it defends the bishop. So it looks like uh, a win game. But uh, actually it's not because uh, you need, when you, when you are doing tactics, you need to think about your opponent's forcing move as well. So when you play uh, knight to c4, you need to, to see if the queen has forcing moves. So it's not enough to see, okay, the queen must move and it cannot move uh, in a way that defends the bishop. But does the queen have some other forcing moves, like checks, for example? If queen can move with a check, then <laughs> you, you, you cannot grab the bishop. And here uh, there is a very, very strong check, uh, which uh, queen can deliver. And uh, if you know the pattern of mating pattern uh, with a knight and uh, bishop, then you can notice this. So if you would play knight c4, uh, white would just uh, play uh, queen to g7 check. Uh, the forcing move is uh, king has, has to take the queen, but now double check. So knight c5, checking with knight and the bishop. Uh, whenever there is a double check, the only way to escape from double check is moving the king. There is only one legal square to move the king. Uh, king g8, and now just knight h6 is checkmate. Okay, so uh, this was this was a tricky uh, tricky one uh, because, well, uh, it is it is a trap. Uh, like uh, you will see in this book, uh, there are some some puzzles which are uh, designed uh, to trick you. So. You, you immediately might think about this move, but then, then it's a checkmate. So, uh, Podugajewski in this position, uh, it, it is for a real game, he just played uh, knight f6 and he, he gave up the pawn because uh, there is uh, this, this is the, the best thing uh, he could do in this position. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the next position now. Okay, so uh, this is the position. Uh, you can pause the video now and think about uh, best continuation for white. So this is white to move, and uh, you can stop and think about uh, the position and find a solution. Okay, so the main motive of this uh, problem is uh, this past pawn, which is very, very can very easily be uh, be promoted uh, to queen. But there are some obstacles. So the first obstacle is the knight, of course, and the second obstacle is the rook. And if you could remove knight and the rook, so the knight pro protecting the uh, this d7 square, and uh, rook obviously protecting uh, the the back rank. So if you could remove the, these two pieces, then uh, you will be able to promote. And uh, it so happens that you can uh, remove uh, these pieces uh, one by one. So uh, first you have to uh, start by deflecting the queen. So queen is uh, attacking the rook, so you need to, to deflect the queen so you can remove the rook. So you play uh, rook takes b2, queen takes rook, otherwise black will be down the material, and now you can sack the queen, so you can take the, the rook uh, with the check, knight takes uh, queen, and you can play d7. And uh, the next move is promotion, and this is a very, uh, very common pattern when uh, the pawn can uh, have two squares to promote. So this is important thing to, to grab from this position. So uh, the pawn can promote either on c8 or d8, and the black cannot stop, uh, cannot cover both squares. So he he, he could, for example, cover uh, d8, but then uh, the pawn would promote to to c8. Or if you if you stop uh, the promotion on d8, the the pawn again will, will on c8. Or you can um, you can you can try to, for example, move this uh, knight. So you are now protecting c8, but then d8 is, is promotion. And at the end, if you, if you can see the the pieces, so in the end, uh, uh, black will come up with. So for example, let's say that this this kind of tactic happens. So you can see that. Uh, and black uh, won the bishop in the end of this variation. Okay, let's let's go just um, quickly quickly again uh, because I think this is very very nice puzzle. Okay, so the motive is uh, is the deep one. You want to promote it. In order to promote it, you have to remove these two 
pieces and you can uh, remove uh, these these pieces by picking up uh, the the bishop in the way so you take the bishop you deflect the queen the queen takes rook knight takes queen and the promotion is unstoppable okay uh, let's go to the fourth and the last position in this session Okay, this is the position, and uh, now it's uh, white uh, turn to move. So please pause the position and uh, try to find uh, the best uh, continuation uh, for white here. Okay, uh, this position is uh, thematic in a, in a way uh, how to deal with uh, this kind of situations when uh, the the opponent king is uh, is coming to your camp. Then uh, the usual recipe, uh, what you, you want to try to do is to uh, bring your uh, king closer to your camp. Because if you get uh, the opponent's king in your camp, then you will most likely be able to mate him uh, very easily, even with, with the pawns or, or minor pieces. So uh, this one allows uh, a bit of calculation and uh, I'll show you the solution. So in order to bring your, the king closer, uh, you play uh, g4. And you can play this uh, g4 even if you don't uh, if you don't see the exact continuation because uh, bringing the the king closer is always uh, always useful. So uh, g4, f takes g4, h takes g4, check, and now king uh, h4. Okay, and now you can see uh, if you have this very very forcing line. If you want to mate uh, the king, you have to look at uh, forcing moves uh, at, at checks. And now if you look at the forcing moves, you see that uh, this check is almost a checkmate. So the king has only one square. So you need to cut off this square. In order to cut off this square, you can do it by uh, just moving, moving the king here or here. But the problem is, if you move uh, the king uh, either to uh, g2 or h2, you can get into some checks. So if you move, for example, to the g2, he can check you here. And then maybe even mate you. Or if you play to h2, Again, he can uh, just deliver the check. So, what you need to do, uh, you need to uh, somehow deflect this queen, so that uh, you, you can play, uh, for example, uh, king to h2 without uh, being checked. And uh, this is the the deflection is the sacrifice of the queen. So, uh, queen check. Uh, well, the, the only legal not losing move is uh, to take the queen, because if uh, king goes here, then this is checkmate. Okay. So the only move is queen takes, and now king h2, and the king cannot be checked. You cannot deliver check to the to the king, because this queen is misplaced, and the next move, whatever black plays, the next move is mate. Okay. So let's, let's do this again, uh, just quickly, because it's very instructive. So the main idea is uh, to bring the king closer, and once you bring the king closer, then you need to look for the forcing moves and uh, uh, to try to calculate uh, the checkmate. So the solution is uh, g4 check, he has to take, uh, h takes g4 uh, check, and then uh, he has to move to h4. And now you, you see that this is almost made, and that uh, the only square you have to cut off is h3. You cannot play immediately king h2 because you run into checks, and then you this is why you just sack the queen. Once he takes the queen, you play king h2, and uh, there are no checks available, and uh, the next move is um, bishop to f2 checkmate. Okay, uh, we are done uh, for today. Uh, this was the today's uh, training session. I encourage you to uh, to be actively engaged uh, when, when watching these, these videos, so uh, hit the pause, uh, try to calculate for yourself, and uh, you will see uh, many, many different patterns and ideas, and the best way is to remember them is to uh, come up with the ideas by your own. So this is why the active learning is important. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the channel, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, share your video with your friends and uh, leave the comment below and see you very soon with much chess. Cheers.